In this multiple choice question, we're given an exponential function, and we want to know the domain of the inverse of f of x. Now, you have a couple of options with this one. You could find the equation of the inverse and then find the domain of that, but what I think might be a little bit easier is to recognize that the domain of the inverse of f of x is the same as the range of f of x. So remember, when I talk about inverses, the domain of the function becomes the range of the inverse, the range of the function becomes the domain. So since we already have the function, let's just look at what the range is. So I have this function 3x minus a, 3 to the x minus a plus b. So first thing I notice is that my base is 3, and since it's greater than 1, it's an increasing exponential graph. So I don't know what a and b are, so I'm just going to draw a really rough sketch of what it might look like. So I have an increasing graph, something like that, with a y-intercept at 1. Now it says that it's x minus a, which means I'm moving the graph to the right a units. So I don't know how many units that is, but I'm moving it to the right. And then plus b means I'm moving it up b units. Again, I don't know how many units b is because it's in general. But I can look at this and come up with some sort of idea of what the domain is. I know that originally my graph had a horizontal asymptote at y equal to 0. And I moved it up b units. So I don't know what b is, but whatever it is, will be the new horizontal asymptote. So I know the range of my new function, the original used to be y greater than 0, but since I've moved it up, it's going to be y greater than b. So that's the range of f of x. To make it into the domain of the inverse, I simply just write domain as an x value. So I know the answer is going to be that x is greater than b. Option number D would be the correct answer.